हाय फ्रेंड्स मैं गोकुल राठौर इंग्लिश स्टेनोग्राफर आपका गोकुल राठौर स्टेनोग्राफी एंड टाइपिंग इंस्टीट्यूट में हार्दिक स्वागत करता हूं दोस्तों आज हम डिक्टेशन प्रैक्टिस करेंगे एक्सरसाइज नंबर 32 फ्रॉम सर कैलाश चंद्र मैगजीन ओके और स्पीड होगी 100 wpm टू 110 wpm ओके फ्रेंड्स सो स्टार्ट करते हैं स्टार्ट Mr. Vice Chairman, knowing the honorable mover of this resolution to be a good parliamentarian, I had expected that he would place before the House all sides of this problem. I had expected that he would be no less interested in the efficiency and discipline of the administration no less interested in the public welfare than in the interest of the civil services. But I am sorry to observe that he has taken only one view of the matter, namely the interest of the civil services alone. He has not at all dwelt upon the fateful consequence which a strike of the sort we had the misfortune to have would have had on the country and the people in general. He has spoken no doubt in measured terms unlike the honorable member who sat to his right in the morning and who raised a shout wanting to make up by sound what his arguments lacked in force, I wish to submit to this house and I would be incorrect and I would be imprudent for this house to accept this resolution. It would be incorrect because by accepting this resolution, we would be laying down something bad in principle and we would also be accepting a policy which would be suicidal and which would cut at the roots of discipline in the services to the merits of reinstatement or otherwise of these powers I will come later on. I doubt that very property of parliament going into the matter. Now let us see what has happened whether right or wrong, departments have taken up the question of these strikers, those who took part in this strike, those who indulged in disavowing the ordinance, several cases of sabotage and intimidation, including criminal ones, have been gone into and the authorities have taken some decision in some cases, the government have taken the decision and in some cases, the department have taken the decision. Now, would it be right for parliament to intervene, to interfere with the decisions? Suppose we do that, suppose parliament interfered with the decisions taken by the government or by the heads of department tomorrow with what face and with what authority can the head of a department extract service from his subordinates? This is the question which the honorable, the mover must see and also the other honorable members who have spoken in support of the resolution. Unemployment is mounting up and we have not been able to generate enough employment opportunities to provide even for those people who are entering the labor market today perhaps to the extent envisaged during the 10th plan. The point that I want to make is that it is not quite justifiable to take 
only one aspect of the 10th plan period namely the exigencies of capital mobilization out of the context of the general economic situation in the country when we are therefore making this huge tax effort we will have to apply our mind with equal seriousness if not more to see that the income generation in the community is as great as is envisaged so that the savings and investments could be effected without disturbing unnecessarily the consumption pattern in the community whenever there is any tax on corporations this cry is raised and this cry is always belied by what the industrialists themselves have claimed to be the sensitive barometer to find out the climate for capital formation i mean the stock exchanges this time the stock exchanges have reacted quite favorably to the budget proposal as a whole which clearly shows that whatever else may be the merit of the present budget proposals it is certainly not anti capital last year also the stock markets boomed up after the taxation proposals were announced this time though they were a little hesitant at first ultimately i think they have realized that there is nothing wrong with the taxation proposals and they are now merely mounting up this is quite natural because there are so many benefits and advantages in our economy today that it is not difficult for the corporate sector to absorb a small rise of 5% in the corporation tax which has been proposed by the honorable finance minister the economy of the nation today is more or less a closed economy because due to the lack of external finances imports have been virtually prohibited there is lot of planning in the country which makes risk bearing rather unlikely and because of the regulation of the economy internal competition is also not very great the risk bearing capacity which is claimed by the industrialist really for getting large profit and large yield on their investment is almost non existent in our economy today our markets are expanding very fast and the money generated is much more than the production of commodities with the result that there are shortages is almost every commodity it should be difficult for the industrialist